Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through setting up flat rate shipping with WooCommerce. You can see it on my screen now, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to do if you want to use it is naturally to enable this shipping method. After that you can define a method title, but I don't think you're going to find a better one than the default of flat rate. After that you need to choose the availability. You can choose from all allowed countries or specific countries. And if you choose specific then you'll get this little drop down where you can choose from the countries that you've specified that you want to be able to ship to. I think you just need to choose the tax status of this particular method. Is it taxable or not? Very simple. Uh, just choose the one that's appropriate for you. Then you need to choose the cost per order. As you can see, the default is zero, so you need to probably do a little investigation about what flat rate shipping might cost you for the kind of products you're selling. But for this, we'll just set it to $12. Next we can set up some additional rates. So the cost per order at the moment is a flat rate of $12, but say for instance, you wanna offer people express shipping, you can easily put that in uh, by typing in something such as the example here, express shipping, a dollar value, and then how it's gonna be. So in this case, we've got per order. Then we move down into the additional costs area. As you can see here, you can add a cost per order. So charge shipping for the entire order as a whole per item or per class. Uh, to use a per class setup, you'll need to set up shipping classes as well, naturally. We're just going to leave this on per order. And if you want to add any cost, you can do that by clicking add cost. You can change this to within US and you can put in a cost, maybe it's $5 and maybe we'll just put in a handling fee of $5 as well. And if you want to enter a minimum handling fee, you can. That means that if there's a shipping cost and say, for instance, it comes to less than $5 and you put in the minimum handling fee as $5, then it will make the shipping appear to cost $5. Once you've gone through this and set up the variables as you require, you should always hit save changes. And that brings us to the end of this video. We've gone through and shown you how to enable flat rate shipping and how you can customize that and add some additional costs and options based on what you'd like to offer your customers. If you have any questions about what we've done in this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe for more.